I've got another 10 minute game for you today and I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. I've had a little couple of games in a row that have been good but they've been kind of short because my opponents seem to be blundering some weird moves and doing some different openings. So I'm actually going for a non-Scotch game opening as white today. I'm going to go for the Roy Lopez. Here we go. And I'm not really familiar of what the lines are beyond this point. I just know that's a Roy Lopez there, but there we go. So before we take, I'm going to maybe give the option of this. Take, 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 and then get the queen. Yeah. So let's push this pawn here. I'm going to give that option. And let's see what my opponent does. Like I said, I've not played this much before. And they've brought their pawn out. Do we take back? Invites their queen into the game, which I don't like too much. I don't want to give them that. But because they've pushed that pawn, so here's a good thing. Because they've pushed this pawn, this knight can no longer defend this pawn here. So that means if we take with our pawn, then that pawn takes, we just take the pawn back. So that actually, I believe, could win a pawn. I think the best option for them now is to do this. Kicks our knight. I believe that's the best option. So they're going to go for this pawn push here. So now I think I'm going to take back. They'll take with their pawn, fair enough. And now if we take, they take, we can get our knight out. So they could take with their queen, to be fair. But I think they're going to take with their pawn because they want to undouble their pawns that we just doubled. So we'll see what they do. I'm planning on bringing this knight out now because if they push, then we can take. We are defended by the knight. So we're, we're okay. It's this kick that kind of is worrying sometimes. But... Actually, if they do that, we just take with the knight and then they can't take with the queen because, yeah, we'll take back there. So they've pinned the knight because of that reason. And let's think about this. Should we just take here, take that pawn? No, because if they take back, that is better for our knight there and then we can defend it, make an outpost. So I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave this pawn tension. With this bishop here, an option could be bishop to d2, and then we take back. But the issue with that is, it allows this kick, because then if we take, their queen can come down, and then our bishop is blocking our queen. So, a little bit tricky there. I think maybe I'm going to do this instead, because then it keeps an eye on this, still. That's my idea. And then I'm going to kick the bishop. That's my master plan. So we'll see what they do. And I think they're just going to come and develop another piece. Maybe a bishop. Does the bishop do anything anywhere? Maybe going to bring a, bring a bishop here just to develop. I would quite like them to take here so we can take. They push instead. Okay. Makes sense. They don't have to take. And now it's time to kick that bishop, like I said. So we can carry on with our plan, and then we can take with the queen. So, are they going to take back? They do. We'll take with the queen. I think they think there's a kick here. Maybe they think there's a kick. Ellen, from China. So, they've got the bishop out. Does that give us anything to worry about? I, I don't see... A huge amount to worry about there. Do we have a tactic here with this bishop I'm just looking at? So if we put the bishop there, just think about that for a sec. Because they've pushed this pawn already here, they can't block it with that pawn. So we put the bishop here on g5, like so, attacking their queen, protected by our knight. If they bring the knight out, we take with the bishop, they take with the pawn, and then we take with our pawn. And then if they take with the queen, we've got our queen on this diagonal, and then that rook... So I feel like that's quite a good option there. Let's do that and see what happens. I'm not sure if that's a great move or not, or or maybe <laughs> this is going to turn out to be some sort of blunder. But I feel like, okay, that's an option. So they've just moved the queen out of the way. And do we have anything else from that? 
Yeah, probably not. So I think maybe is a prudent time now to castle. I think that's probably not a bad idea. Brings this rook in line with the queen here. And now I feel like we're in a better position, I feel like. It would be really nice if we can maybe offer a trade on this square. Attacking this rook, offering a trade of queens. But we would have to defend that. If we were to do that, we'd have to defend it with this knight here. So that's something to think about in the future. At the moment, we have to deal with this problem, obviously. And let's just check. If we do take, then they take with the pawn. We don't get anything from that. We just lose a bishop. So not great. So instead of that, once we move this knight, this pawn is going to be hanging. So... I feel like it's not a bad idea to drop back there. Stops this pawn pushing down as well. Then we can reroute this knight with the idea of offer. Yeah, that's just annoying, isn't it? <laughs> that's just annoying. Is it worth sacrificing a knight? And then they take, we take. So we get two pawns for a knight. And do we win anything else? Any, any attacks that we can do on the other pieces? Mm. Doesn't, doesn't look that appealing. Doesn't look that appealing to me. So, if we move back again, we're just going to get kicked again, which is pretty annoying. Could kick the knight instead as well. If they kick the knight, I'm fine with that because we can reroute to here. So, it's this kick is the annoying one. And there we go. They're going for the kicks, aren't they? So, maybe we can do something useful with this bishop finally. Where's a good square for it? Here blocks our tactic. Here blocks the rook. Maybe not such a bad thing. I'm going to go here. I don't know which the best option is, which square is best, but I'm going to go there. My idea is to reroute this knight. I want to reroute that knight and offer a trade of queens, because then we'll have a knight on this square. Once we have that knight there, what's our plan though? Do we have any grand master plan? So that doesn't really work now with the knight being developed. This pawn is stopping. This would be lovely, wouldn't it? So our pawn is kind of stopping us there. Anyway, we can remove that off the board. <laughs> anyway, we can uh, do it ourselves. Let's go here. I'm wanting a take so that I can take with this pawn and open up this file on here once this rook moves at any point. So they're targeting this knight now, which is obviously undefended. Uh, no, it's not actually. It's defended here. But that does give us this pawn push option, which attacks their queen. Oh. We have to think about this. This could be, that could be a mistake. That could have been a mistake. So yes, they're targeting there then they can win a rook. That's what they're thinking. However, if we push this pawn, and then they take with their queen, we take their rook, then their knight goes here to block our vision of the king. We can't take the knight because their queen is on that square. So we win a rook. Then they're going to take a rook. Oh, I'm going to do it. Just I don't know the exact calculation of this, but I'm going to do it because I'm slightly low on time and I want to see what's going to happen. So if they take the knight now, we're going to take and check this rook. If they don't take that pawn, they do take the pawn. So I think that's the best option for them. We'll check it in the game review, but we have the check here. The king can't move, obviously, so they've got to either put the bishop or the knight here to block, because otherwise it's actually checkmate. So, oh, the king could move, actually. The king can move here. Before, when the pawn was there, it couldn't move, but it can move down now. But that would lose another rook, so that would be the worst option in that case, because they'd lose that, that A rook. So, they're going to put the bishop or the knight on g8. Then what do we do? Maybe take the free pawn is an option. If it's the knight, obviously, we... Oh, there is... Game abandoned? Oh, that's pretty lame. Oh, I was getting into that. Well, let's have a look at the game review. So, 
let's go through. I want to see what the best move was in that situation. Let's see what the evaluation bar says. So we've got here, opening, Roy Lopez standard. That was an inaccuracy. They should have kicked the bishop. So in that position here, I think it's saying that they should have maybe done this A pawn. Let's see. Yeah, it wants to do that A pawn. And then just out of interest, what would the move been for us to move back and then kick again and then move down? So apparently that's the the move to do in that situation. So just to note for future, then pushing this pawn was best. That was fine. That was an inaccuracy. I should have castled kingside and uh, permitted them to kick a knight with that pawn. So if they were to do that, my thinking was that we then take and check, then they disrupt, and then we divert back. And that ends up pretty much even. It looks pretty much even. But before that move, in this position, we were plus one. Well, plus one and a bit, it looks like. So that's why it didn't like that move as much. Then we go through here, great move to take. And then coming through here, then knight comes out. That was a mistake because why? Why is that a mistake? I thought that was all right. Just because, okay, so it's not the move is bad. It's not that that move is bad. It's because I didn't castle. I should have just castled basically. And that was a mistake because again, I ignored an opportunity to castle. This was a mistake because it leads to losing a pawn. Kick the knight was best, take, and then come out, check. I think I've not taken that pawn, but apparently that's not the right idea. And then this was a, okay, so I wondered about this, didn't I? What was the best, so that's not the best move. That's fine to move back, but the best move is gonna be just straight to this square, okay? Because it knew that this next tempo was coming again and I let them take more space with this pawn chain. So that's why it was saying about that. Then this move was good. That's an inaccuracy. I lost the advantage. See the evaluation bar there? Because it thinks knight is going there, queen slides over, pawn comes here. Okay, so it's just kind of repositioning this whole segment here. But yeah, and then loads of exchanges. So it's more a positional thing there. That It didn't like that move. And the best move would have been bringing the knight there, which I did talk about, right? So I should have carried on with that plan. That was a blunder. This allows the opponent to win a rook by attacking multiple pieces simultaneously. And I'm glad I saw that. Great move with the pawn push. Best move to take back with the bishop. Best move to take there. And then what's the best move for them in this situation? Let's have a look. So, oh, it doesn't let you... Let's have a look through. So King moves there, but they've resigned. So yeah, it doesn't let me, if we go on the analysis page, I think it should let me go through. This was played. That's mate in one. That's mate in one, is it? Wait, that's mate in one? <laughs> Am I missing something? I was just gonna take the rook, but, ah, is it here? Yeah. It's the knight. So not only is it a queen fork with the king, but it can't go there because of the knight. And this square, these are squares are protected by the queen. So that's mate in one. So the king can't move down. But they should have just, why didn't they do this, for example? Is that not the best move or one of the best? So bishop or, okay, so it turns out that the knight move was best because it protects this pawn, I imagine. So they do that with the knight. It's still massively in white's favor. So what's the next best move here? The next move for me is to push is to exchange here okay and it's basically just winning for for white here then they want to castle get the king to safety fair and then yeah we would have carried on for quite a bit longer to be fair i think they should have carried on playing rather than they never know what's going to happen rather than just lose instantly or abandon but yeah an interesting game review we're not going to go through the whole next part of the game because that might last another 30 minutes but interesting game nonetheless i'm going to put another video down below that i think you might like that's it from me today. I'll see you tomorrow.